Okay, there's so much to catch up on. We're gonna, we have to just go over everything so we can lead up to what's going to happen this month on this YouTube channel. And I hope everyone is engaged and is going to be watching this because it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be an interesting month. First of all, right when I left London, I had a fan meetup. And it was an amazing meetup. I'm never going to forget. I had people all over. They, some people even drove three hours. Some people took trains. Their whole families came. And they drove just to see us. Explorers, you guys are the real MVPs. And if it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't even be where I am today. Now, I didn't film it because I wanted to give and devote all my time into every one of you guys that came. But I knew Steve was going to film it because Steve films everything, which is really good because then I could take his video clips, which is going to show right now. All right, whoa, it's getting huge. There's at least over 100 people right now. I've been watching you for the past three years when really? you do your road trip. Oh, my US? Yeah. Dude, that's a while ago. I appreciate that. Coming, though. Yeah, but it's so cool, Steve. Oh, dude. Guys, give me an impression of your American accent right now. Hello. Hi, I'm from America and I just love this. Like, so <laughs> oh my god, your shoes are so cute. Yeah. Oh, you're in there. Yeah, sure. I haven't got a pen. You have something. Oh, I don't got none either. Anyone got a pen? It would need more of a marker. Anyway. Has anybody got a marker pen? Marker pen. He came in clutch. What's your name? That's, the, that's our man right there. What? Mark? Matt, Matt, you're the man. Dude, I honestly love having fan meets because I get to meet every one of you guys. And it means so much to me that you guys actually come out to actually want to see me. Like, it's so weird that it still hits me now to this day. Like, I can have 100,000 people actually watch my video. It's like, what? Like, I didn't even think I was that cool, but I guess I am. But thank you so much because it means everything to me. Now, let's get into what happened literally 10 days ago. I got my hand cut open. And I'm going to show you all the clips on how it happened right now. Explorers, um, I had an accident. Um, I don't know if you can see, if you can zoom in a little bit. The blood's coming out of my freaking palms. Um, I'm probably going to need eight stitches, I'm guessing, maybe more. Um, I, we were cutting through. We're, we're heading to an abandoned place. Before we even get there, we're just cut, we had to go through a river. But there was a glass bottle in the river. And I actually fell. Steve did too. But I fell first. My whole hand went into the glass. And here I am now. Not even an abandoned place got me, but a glass bottle did. And we're rushing to the, the nearest hospital. I'm not even near this area. I'm like an hour and a half away. So we got to get to the hospital now. And it's some urgent care. We're going to get it to stitched up. Just like my toe video. This is now the cut hand, hand video. video. See, if I wore gloves, this would never have happened. Yeah, I have I gloves on my house. Gloves. I'm going to start wearing my gloves from now on. 100%. This would never have happened if I wore my gloves. Oh, yeah, see, so the doctor said I need like three stitches. Um, it just, it's just a huge burning sensation. Is that the numbing stuff or is that water? Yeah. Oh man. Alright, I'm ready for it, man. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, yeah. Oh. Oh my god, yo. Okay, that's it. That's it for you guys to see. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, check this out right now. So, now that's how it looks. It's all, all the, you can see the fat almost coming out of it. It's weird. <sighs> Right, stitches are done. We're about to head out of here. <laughs> How are you feeling, Josh? Good, I feel good. I'm hungry, really hungry. Oh, it looks weird, right? Get close enough. Yeah, get close up. You guys want that close up, right? Oh. Uh, wait, let me make sure it's focused. Yeah, focus on that. Yeah, you guys like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty nasty, I admit, but a positive thing came from that. The exploring crew is all back together again. We're all home doing vlogs. Obviously, I have so much on my plate and I have tons of stuff to do, but I'll be showing them in my vlogs because we're all super excited about hanging out together again and traveling together again. We have completely rechanged the way we're vlogging as a group. We're going to be doing tons of different things together, and I think it's going to be really cool. I definitely think you should de check out Steve, Cody, and John, and we made it, uh, a group video together, which is showcased on our brand new official exploring crew page on our YouTube channel, our new one. Links in the description below too. Check out all this stuff, Explorers. If you guys love and support me, I definitely want you guys to check them out as well. <laughs> Yo! <Yeah. laughs> Show it! Yo, Yo what's, what's up, up Exploring crew? crew? How are you guys doing? Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Uh, we're having a good time here. And so, for those who do not follow my social media, you wouldn't know that I'm actually fighting in the KSI and Joe Wellers event. Now, it's going to be on February 3rd, so I have 28 days to learn how to box and fight. 
I don't know how to fight at all. I don't even know how to box. And then I'm going to be in front of 7,500 people boxing in a ring. But yet I don't know how to do it. Why did I sign up for that? I don't know why I did either. But I love challenges and I love to always get out of my comfort zone. And I want to learn new things. I always want to just hop onto something new. Like if I'm like sometimes I pick. I one day I remember I picked up skateboarding for like a year so I can try to learn it. Or then other days I picked up breakdancing. And then other days I'm doing this and I'm doing that. It's because I want to try everything and do new things. This is a big experience. Yeah, I might get knocked out. Yeah, I might get really hurt or something. But like this is an experience. How many people can say they're about to fight inside of a boxing ring inside of seven thousand five hundred people, and be streamed by some other YouTubers? And I think KSI and Joel are streaming it. I'm not sure. Shout out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen. But I'm, I'm the opening fight. I'm not telling who I'm going to fight yet. For those who follow me on my social media, you would know who I'm fighting. But I'm not saying who I'm going to fight yet until the next video. So if you're going to watch, you got to watch the next video to know who I'm fighting. And I'll be announcing who he is and everything. Um, for those who already know, keep it a secret for the next video. Um, yeah. So what else? What else? What else? We have to talk about more. There's just so much going on. Uh, Explorers, yesterday was my first day of training and I literally got my ass kicked. I'm not even going to lie. Like not only was I, I wasn't able to throw punches, but like I was so busted, like tired. I couldn't even breathe. And my training person that was helping me out was literally hitting my stomach as I'm trying to breathe and it would hurt so bad. I had no idea how hard boxing really was. I mean, I'm, I had no idea how hard boxing actually is. So this is going to be insane for the next couple of, well, actually for this whole month. I'm going to be doing a few abandoned places. My, by few, I probably mean two abandoned places. I'm going to be doing some cool, interesting vlogs. But then I'm also going to be recording a lot of my training and what's going to happen before the actual fight. Like, explorers, picture me inside of a ring fighting. Like, what? But yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I gotta get ready and I gotta do this. I'm gonna be transformed. I'm gonna have a six pack in probably 30 days. I'm gonna be in shape because this training is intense. You guys are gonna be watching me probably throw up and cry on this YouTube channel for this month because they're gonna be pushing me to its limits. Whew. Everyone should be checking out my social media again, like I said, so everybody can keep updated. When I don't post on here, I'm always posting on there something on my story or my snap or my Instagram or, you know, I'm always on it. This ain't a plug. This is just being legit. If you guys are really engaged and, and want to see, you guys definitely get the head start and the advantage by checking out my Instagram. Whew. One last thing before I go, and I think this is super important. Actually, well, it's not, but I've been working hard on it. So to me, it's super important. I'm opening up a brand new merch store. The one I got now, I'm deleting everything from that store if you want to buy something from it that's awesome the whole entire thing is being revamped and changed it's turning into more of like the exact same clothes that I wear my over long t-shirts my shirts with holes in it um stuff like this that I'm wearing right now that that's, that's long hoodies everything's gonna be changed and it's gonna be all limited time stuff it's gonna it's only gonna last like a month or less and then that's it it's gonna be gone forever and I'm not doing it all the time only sometimes I got one shirt that I'm showing you right now, and that's all I'm going to show. I'm only releasing three or four things at a time, and you can pick and choose what you want. And then once it's sold out, that's it. But I promise you it's going to be really good quality, and I'm very, very proud of it, and I'm going to be wearing it all the time because it's stuff that I literally love and I'm proud of. So I'm going to show you one design right here. Now the Japanese letters on it actually say explore, and there's going to be a, a coordinates on the bottom, and that's actually Tanara Dreamland. The coordinates are Tanara Dreamland. This is like a rest in peace shirt to like my favorite place on earth is Tanara Dreamland. So that's that's literally what it is. And I think it's an amazing shirt and it's really dope and it represents, you know, me. And yeah, so I'm sharing this right now. So yeah. And also, explorers, just get out there and explore. Peace out and thanks for watching.